Hello there, my name is Mark Takahana and today I'm presenting my model of Zero Motorcycle's top-of-the-line electric motorcycle, the SRF. Let's begin. I chose this subject because I enjoy riding and electric motorcycles are the confluence of all my interests in engineering. The greatest challenge I encountered was the lack of reference images. Motorcycles have a lot of detail that conventional angles don't capture. I had to make up for this with some creativity and extrapolating from my own bike. In the course of modeling the bike, I explored nearly the entire sketch and feature palette, from lines to splines and lofts to combine. For example, the headlight comprises several boundary surfaces and the battery box is a series of extruded solids. To keep everything together, I used master sketches so that each component I modeled was based on the same fundamental images, though I ran into plenty of problems along the way, dimension and mate mismatches weren't among them. I tried to be faithful to the bike with the exception of the swing arm. Instead of the manufacturer's double-sided swing arm, I decided to put on a stylish single-sided swing arm through which I rooted a drive shaft instead of the OEM belt drive. The drive shaft starts parallel to the longitudinal plane of the bike, and then a universal joint redirects it for the rear wheel. I ran a static simulation on the rear wheel. I used cast alloy steel as my material, fixed the rim, and applied a torque of 140 pound-feet to the hub. This is the max torque claimed by Zero, by the way. The max upon Mises stress is below the yield strength of the part, so this wheel is ready for that EV torque. Thanks for listening to my presentation, and remember, rubber side down.